Hey everybody, how's it going? It's The Daily Shooter, and I've got a really cool knife to review for you guys today. This is the Tactical Utility Knife by McNett. It is a very cool, small, compact, inexpensive knife, full tang fixed blade that has some pretty unique features I'd like to show you guys. So let me take a close-up look here, then we'll go to the table and we'll check it out. Okay, so here's the knife up close. This is a very nice looking knife. It comes with an actual Kydex sheath. It's available in either tan or black. Now, I've taken this out of the package already and uh, done some testing with it, cutting some wood, cutting some paracord, uh, stabbing things with it since it is a stiletto style blade. And I'll roll in some pictures real quick of what the uh, packaging looks like. Alright, now that you've taken a look at the packaging, which is really nice, kind of flashy, uh, let's take a look at the knife itself. Now, like I said, it does come uh, with a Kydex sheath. This is actual uh, Kydex. It has a lanyard hole at the bottom. It has some other uh, slots on the side that you can use for lashing as well. It has a uh, plastic clip on the back. The way that they did that is kind of interesting. Uh, they have a screw right here. The plastic clip runs through part of the Kydex sheath itself and then around and over so you can attach this to, the, to your gear, your belt, uh, or whatever you might be using. Now another feature that they have on here, uh, which, which I like, is a, it's a locking feature. Okay, so this knife is actually in there pretty good. I mean, I can tug on this pretty well and it's not coming out. As you can see in the very back here, there is a notch on the sheath itself which lines up with another notch that's on the uh, the blade handle and that locks it in. Now I have heard people say that uh, it is kind of difficult to to take out of the sheath, uh, that they've had to use you know two-handed operation. Uh, you know it it can be a little bit difficult but it's not not as bad as some people say. Uh, simply depress the back of the sheath right there as you see one-handed and you can pull the knife out no problem. There's the notch that I'm talking about right here. Get my hands out of the way for the shadow and it's pretty good positive lock. So you can hear that right there, locks in, nice and tight. Again, take your thumb, your forefinger, whatever you want to use, and just push on the back of the, uh, the Kydex sheath. It pops out no problem. So let's take a look at the knife itself. Okay, so a closer look at the knife itself. You can see that it is not just your standard stiletto uh, knife. It has some pretty unique features that I like a lot. One of the features you can see right here is a sharpened hook. So you can use this to cut cord, cable, uh, whatever you might need to do, and then you have an unserrated edge with a partially unserrated edge on this side, and then you have almost saw-like serrations on the on the opposite side. So very nice. It does have a little bit of a a uh, hump right here for your hand for your fingers. Uh, fits pretty nice in the hand, and then as you can see, it has kind of a uh, almost like a ramp that you can just kind of put your thumb in on the top right there. So it allows you to get, kind of choke up and use the knife for smaller tasks. And uh, it's just designed really well, so a great little blade. Now, one of the other features that I really like, uh, and, and I've become a big fan of having on my knives, is uh, the glass breaker. As you can see, there's a small hole there if you run, want to run a, a small lanyard through that, uh, 220 paracord maybe. But uh, it has a nice glass breaker on the back, so if you need to escape uh, a vehicle or somewhere where you're trapped by glass, you can simply grab the knife, even while it's in the sheath, and just use that to smash the glass. So a nice feature to have on your utility knife as well. Now another unique feature about this knife is the ability to actually take it apart. Uh, the fact that they thought about the future maintenance of this knife I think is really cool, especially for that low price point. Now this is a 420 steel. It is a stainless steel. It's a little on the lighter side, but you want to make sure that uh, if you're going to put it away for storage for a while, you're not going to be using it. Moisture can build up and create rust. So you always want to make sure that even with your most expensive blades that can rust, that you take care of them. You add oil to them. You just, you, you want to keep them nice. Now, they thought that out, and in doing so, they made it so you can actually take this handle off and take the knife apart for easy cleaning. Now, this is a full tang design, which means that the, the blade steel actually runs the entire length of the handle. And uh, as a matter of fact, in this particular knife, 
that makes up the glass breaker as well. So they made a really easy design that allows you to take the knife apart. I'll show it to you real quick. All you do is you take a you can take a screwdriver or whatever. I just got this little gun tool here. Take a screwdriver and you pop these little pieces out. Now let's see here. Apologize for the shadows. Okay. So you pop the pieces out like that. This other side you can punch out or it'll drop out either way. And as you can see, I have these four plastic pieces right here. And what that'll do, and see I might have to remove this from the camera to show you guys. Okay, so I had to pull it from around the camera because I'm working from behind the tripod and I didn't want to cut myself here. Now what that'll do is it'll allow you to take this entire piece and remove it like that. So now you can maintain your blade all the way through the tang, the full tang right here. And uh, oil it up, keep it clean corrosion proof, I mean just whatever you need to do, it just it's a really nice design and well thought out that you can take care of this blade. Being that it's inexpensive, uh, it's still going to be able to last you for a long time because you can do that. Now this knife does come pretty sharp right out of the box. I've been using it quite a bit, testing it out pretty extensively over the past week or so. And uh, I do like this stiletto feature. They actually sell this knife as well with a blunt end. And the blunt end would be good for something like, let's say, scuba diving. I believe that's actually what it's designed for, is scuba diving. You don't want to accidentally pierce uh, any of your gear while you're underwater for obvious reasons. But this particular one right here, the stiletto version with the sharp tip, it really lends itself to piercing. Uh, it seems to be really great at piercing as you can see here. It's just, it's a really strong tip, uh, a good blade design, and the fact that it's sharp at the tip on both ends uh, really allows it to get through that wood. Now using the serrated feature, you know, if you're in a survival type situation, having a, a serrated feature is really nice. And that really does cut surprisingly well. Okay, so here we have a piece of cardboard. You know, obviously the uh, the stiletto style cuts down into the cardboard really nice. And it cuts it really clean. As you can see, there's no drag marks. It's just a nice clean line. So definitely very sharp there. All right, well, there it is. The Tactical Utility Knife from McNett Tactical. A really cool, unique fixed blade knife. Very inexpensive. Check them out over at mcnett.com tactical. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.